let's get over to Fox 12's Camila Ortiz again for a look at your weather. Boy, it's been cold out there. Yeah, definitely chilly. We had some sunshine, though, earlier in the it day. It was pretty. Yeah, yeah. it was nice. Uh, and then clouds moved in, you know, a little later in the afternoon. We even saw some light sprinkles out there along the coast, which we figured could happen. This is our Shiloh Inns camera there in Seaside. Very light accumulations, just trace amounts out there. 39 degrees currently in Seaside. And here's what it looks like from our Skyline camera in Portland. We should stay dry tonight. Current temperatures uh, in the low 40s, upper 30s, low 40s across the metro area. So uh, those clouds will help us stay a little bit warmer overnight. So let's get into the super interesting stuff, which is kind of what we're watching for next week. This Arctic cold uh, that's hanging to the north of us, but it's close by and it could cause some issues for us here in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, you can see it kind of dips down a little bit. That cold Arctic air uh, going to be sitting over southern BC by the end of the weekend. It kind of stalls there along the border Monday and Tuesday, and then you can see it kind of starts to plunge southeast. It's headed towards the Midwest and kind of the eastern half of the U.S. They're going to be seeing some really cold temperatures at the end of next week, but we kind of briefly get clipped here maybe on Wednesday on its way down. So we're going to be seeing some really cold air pouring into our area, but it looks like most of that uh, cold air is going to be stuck east of the Cascades late in the week. So this is a Friday morning, but this gives us a setup to potentially see some snow or an ice storm, particularly in the gorge here. You can see purples even uh, colder. So kind of in the gorge there, we could see cold enough air uh, to where if we see precipitation coming down, which we're expecting at the end of next week, that could mean uh, freezing rain, which could cause some really tricky travel conditions right ahead of Christmas. Uh, so we'll keep tabs on that, of course. Next few days, a lot easier in terms of forecasting. We look uh, mostly dry here, just cloudy for your Sunday morning. We do have a couple showers close by, so we do have a shower chance here in the Portland metro area, but mainly dry. We're thinking mostly cloudy skies. Here's a Monday morning. Also looks mostly cloudy west of the Cascades, but dry. We've got some close by precipitation there Monday evening, which could be snow flurries up north uh, in Washington. And then we get to Tuesday, and this is when we're thinking we could see maybe some snowflakes down uh, in the lowlands. This is our graph model indicating maybe some freezing rain here around the metro area. We'll see if that happens. Uh, it's going to be a tricky call because uh, you'll notice the rest of the valley here just looking green. That just indicates rain. So kind of a question mark right now. If we do see some snowflakes, though, this makes me feel better about it. This is uh, one of our rain forecast models. Very light or er, uh, accumulation totals, I should say, for the metro area, and this model tends to even overdo it. So if it's telling us less than two tenths of an inch of rain in Portland, uh, maybe we're just looking at trace amounts of precipitation here. So that's the good news for Tuesday. Wednesday, we're back to mainly dry conditions. You'll notice those high temperatures and those overnight lows starting to get a little bit colder as that Arctic, Arctic system clips us. Thursday, Friday is when we're really going to be seeing that precipitation coming through. So first alert weather day is there Thursday and Friday for the gorge because of that potential ice storm setup. And then by the time we get to Saturday, everybody should just be seeing rain. It's going to be warm enough overhead where we won't be worried about it anymore. Nora. All right, Camilla, thank you.